The J-31's journey began with its maiden flight on October 31, 2012, marking China's second foray into stealth fighter technology following the J-20. Over the years, the aircraft has undergone various iterations and tests to refine its design and capabilities. Notably, in mid-2024, SAC released a promotional video showcasing the J-31B variant, indicating significant advancements in its development and a readiness for operational roles. The J-31 exhibits design elements characteristic of fifth-generation fighters, including twin-engine configuration. Unlike the single-engine F-35, the J-31 is powered by two engines, enhancing thrust and redundancy. Stealth Characteristics The aircraft incorporates forward-swept intake cowls with diverterless supersonic inlet DSI, bumps and a two-piece canopy to minimize radar cross-section. Its internal weapons bay further reduces radar visibility and enhances aerodynamic performance. Wonderful Engineering Airframe design, the J-31's airframe shares similarities with other stealth fighters, featuring twin rudders and a sleek fuselage to optimize stealth and maneuverability. While specific details about the J-31's avionics remain limited, it's anticipated to be equipped with advanced systems to ensure competitiveness, radar systems, the aircraft is expected to utilize an active electronically scanned array, AESA, radar providing superior tracking and targeting capabilities. Sensor integration, features like an electro-optical targeting system, AOTS, and distributed aperture system, DAS, are likely incorporated to enhance situational awareness and targeting precision. Internal weapon bays, the aircraft features internal bays that can house up to two medium-range missiles, maintaining its stealth profile. External hardpoints, with six external hardpoints, the J-31 can be equipped with additional ordnance, including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground munitions, and precision-guided bombs, depending on mission requirement. Initially, the J-31 prototypes were powered by Russian-made Klimov RD-93 engines. However, China has been developing indigenous WS-19 engines, expected to provide a thrust of approximately 9 tons, enhancing the aircraft's supercruise capabilities. Specific performance metrics, such as maximum speed, operational range, and service ceiling, have not been officially disclosed but are anticipated to align with fifth-generation fighter standards. The J-31 is envisioned to serve multiple roles within the PLAAF and the People's Liberation Army Naval Air Force Carrier Operations. The J-31B variant has been developed with features suitable for aircraft carrier deployment, including reinforced landing gear and tailhooks, positioning it as a potential mainstay on Chinese carriers like the Liaoning. China has indicated intentions to offer the J-31 to international customers, marking it as the third Chinese-made combat aircraft available for export after the FC-1 Xiaolong and the J-10 Vigorous Dragon. Pakistan has expressed interest in upgrading its fighter fleet with the J-31, reflecting the aircraft's appeal to nations seeking advanced yet cost-effective stealth capability. While the J-31 31 draws design inspirations from U.S. stealth fighters like the F-22 and F-35, it faces challenges in matching their performance. Technological parity, despite advancements, the J-31's capabilities in avionics, stealth, and propulsion may not yet fully align with those of its American counterparts. Developmental hurdles, achieving the desired performance levels requires overcoming significant technological and engineering challenges, particularly in engine development and systems integration. The Shenyang J-31 embodies China's strategic commitment to advancing its indigenous military aviation capabilities. As development progresses, the J-31 is poised to play a pivotal role in modernizing China's air combat forces and enhancing its presence in the global defense market. Its evolution will be closely monitored by defense analysts and military strategists worldwide, reflecting its significance in the ever-evolving landscape of aerial warfare.